妈妈请你喝咖啡，我祝祝你父亲节快乐。啊，好的，谢谢你啊，宝贝。Learning latte art skills, filling different types of coffee beans, and using different coffee equipment. Here, people with autism learn new skills to connect with their loved ones and society. Last March, Starbucks Reserve Roastery Shanghai and the A Coffee Project started working together to provide one-on-one -on -one barista training for teenagers with autism. Professional baristas taught them once a month for a total of more than 100 hours over the year. It takes about four minutes and 30 seconds in total to make coffee. I learned about some varieties of coffee here that I had never seen before. I love coffee. I will teach what I have learned to my friends in the future. Their teachers and parents are proud of the progress they have made. This year of training has helped my son so much, and the biggest change is that he is more confident. By coming to Starbucks, they are a part of society and see real consumers. They can work with their male teachers. Which gives them the opportunity to work with people who are around their age, something that was missing when they were growing up. The biggest change I noticed is that they have become more positive and enthusiastic about coffee and life. Each class is one or two hours, and the teachers introduce the coffee making process step by step. They are now proficient and have passed our certification test. In 2018, a charity project was established to create opportunities for teenagers with autism. Trained volunteers impersonated customers while autistic teenagers served them coffee. Project founder Hao Xiaoxia, a well-known musician, also set up a Angels Confident Salon in 2008. It's a care center that teaches children with autism to play instruments, sing, and dance. Shanghai is now home to nearly 9,000 children with autism between the ages of four and twelve. Ye Jingzhuo, Shanghai Life.